Dirty Tricks That Women Play in Family Court. Let's talk about the restraining order. Typically, when a woman's trying to gain an advantage, she's going to go for the restraining order and they may do it ex parte, which means they don't notify you that you have a restraining order. Now, let me tell you what can happen due to this. Let's say you have a concealed carry permit and you have a gun on you while you have an open and active restraining order against you and you get pulled over by the police and it's in a state where they know that you got a gun because it's on your license. If you have that gun on you while you have this ex parte restraining order against you, that cop's going to tell you to get out of your car and he's going to arrest you. Very, very dangerous stuff. Now, the woman is just like, I'm just trying to get an advantage, right? And she can literally wreck your life. Uh, scenario two, my situation, there was a attempt to get a restraining order. And apparently the judge did not go for that ex parte stuff because he's like, he's in a different state. So I'm not granting that, but I will grant you a restraining order if you get him served. So they tried to get me served several times. I mean, this this is kind of cr crazy because I remember they hired this private investigator who literally sat in my parking lot for hours waiting for me to come out. I'm like Michael Weston from Burn Notice. I got my Glock, but oh yeah, I got a week worth of food up in the apartment. I'm used to being in an apartment. I'm used to being home for three, four days, not stepping outside, so... No sweat. So after three hours, he jetted and they would come back and they would knock and they would do all this stuff because they were trying to get me served with this restraining order. Now, I have a concealed carry permit. If you get served with a restraining order and, you know, once that's your serve, you must not carry a gun. You must relinquish that. Now, if they had gotten me served, I would have went to court and it's like, this is bogus. And I would have got the restraining order dismissed. But the minute that I got served, that restraining order is in effect. You don't understand. Also, you're now an abuser. This is something else that happened to me. She went ahead and said I was an abuser. She had documents and stuff that I, you know, witnesses that I was an abuser. And this is why the family court judge here in Atlanta just kind of looked at me side eye, even though I pushed a police report where she was in the negative she took her word over my facts just to let you know that older judges often can be extremely biased and in favor of the woman so that's what happened to me and she just let her off the hook so the abuse claim is very damaging because it creates an extremely adversarial relationship because you didn't abuse her, but she's claiming you abused her. Now, ladies, if there's some ladies who are going to take this course, what do you hope to gain by saying a man is an abuser when he's not? You just poison this whole thing because you want your way. And once again, as I said in earlier videos, the estrogen, the hormones and all this other stuff. So essentially the first two years of the child's life. The woman could be literally an emotional wreck and she's making decisions while she's in this emotional state that can have lifelong consequences. Uh, the situation with me and the woman that I had to start all this drama, we never going to be good. Um, she called up my mother who was in a nursing home and told her that I abused her. And my mom was like, I don't know who you're talking about. That don't sound like him. Yes, that's what she did. And my mother died two days later. Yeah. So we'll never be good. You know, we might be reasonable at some point, but I'm never, ever going to trust her because she accused me of being an abuser when she abused me. She accused me of doing certain things when she emotionally and emotionally raped me. I mean, this whole mind fuck of going down with these things uh, with kids and you have a kid for a few months. You don't have a few kids for a month. She very much did stuff to wound and hurt me. And she was successful at it. And I don't hate her, but I will never, ever be in a room alone with her. I will never trust her. 
And if she could be on fire, and I would spit on her. That's the way it is.